When it comes to using paraplatin 10 mg per milliliter intravenous solution alkylating agents, it's important to note that it is typically administered by a healthcare professional through an four infusion into a vein, which usually takes at least 15 minutes. The dosage of paraplatin is determined based on your specific medical condition, body size, and how you respond to the treatment. Typically, you should not receive treatment with paraplatin more often than once every four weeks. It's always best to consult with your doctor or pharmacist for more detailed information about the specific dosage that is right for you. Some common side effects of paraplatin include stomach pain, body aches, diarrhea, constipation, weakness, nausea, and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting can be severe in some patients but usually go away within 24 hours of treatment. Drug therapy may be needed to prevent or relieve nausea and vomiting. Not eating before your treatment may help relieve vomiting. Changes in diet such as eating several small meals or limiting activity may help lessen some of these effects. If any of these effects last or get worse, tell your doctor or pharmacist promptly. Temporary hair loss may occur, but normal hair growth should return after treatment has ended. This medication can lower your body's ability to fight an infection, so notify your doctor promptly if you develop any signs of an infection such as sore throat that doesn't go away, fever, or chills. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has judged that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. Be sure to tell your doctor right away if you have any serious side effects, including numbness or tingling in the hands or feet, mouth sores, yellowing eyes or skin, dark urine, unusual tiredness, signs of kidney problems, pain, swelling, or redness at the injection site, hearing problems, easy bruising or bleeding, blood in the urine, black or bloody stools, or fast or irregular heartbeat. A very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare. However, seek medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed above. Before taking paraplatin 10 mg per milliliter intravenous solution alkylating agents, make sure to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you are allergic to it or to similar medications, as this product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. Also, inform your doctor about your medical history, especially if you have any blood disorders, kidney problems, or mineral imbalances. It's important to avoid getting immunizations or vaccinations without your doctor's consent, and to stay away from people who have recently received oral polio vaccine. Be cautious with sharp objects and try to avoid activities that may increase your risk of getting cut, bruised, or injured. Wash your hands regularly to prevent the spread of infections, and be aware that older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this medication. Children may also be at greater risk for hearing loss when using this medication at higher doses in combination with other medications that may affect hearing. For men, this medication can affect sperm production, so it's important to use reliable birth control during treatment and for some time afterwards. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, talk to your doctor about the risks and benefits of using this medication, as it may harm an unborn baby. It's also not recommended to breastfeed while using this drug, so be sure to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. Be sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with paraplatin 10 mg per milliliter intravenous solution alkylating agents include aminoglycoside antibiotics, such as gentamicin, neomycin, amphotericin B, certain anti-seizure medications, hydantoin such as phenytoin, and certain water pills, loop diuretics such as furosemide, bumetanide. Be sure to discuss any concerns with your healthcare provider. If someone takes too much paraplatin and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call 911 or your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can call their provincial poison control center for assistance. It's important to have regular lab and medical tests, 
like complete blood counts, kidney function, and blood mineral levels, while using paraplatin 10 mg per milliliter intravenous solution. Make sure to keep all of your medical and lab appointments, and consult your doctor for more details. Make sure to take each dose of paraplatin 10 mg per milliliter intravenous solution alkylating agents as prescribed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, it's best to consult with your doctor or pharmacist to rearrange your dosing schedule. This medication is typically administered by a healthcare professional through and for, and the dosage will depend on your medical condition, response to treatment, and other medications you may be taking. Be sure to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. This medication is typically administered by a healthcare professional in a clinical setting and should not be kept at home. It is used to treat various types of cancer and works by slowing or stopping the growth of cancer cells. The dosage and frequency of administration will be determined by your healthcare provider based on your specific condition and medical history. It is important to follow their instructions carefully and to attend all scheduled appointments for treatment. If you have any concerns or questions about this medication, be sure to discuss them with your healthcare provider. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.